Hello and welcome to part three. We're going to be on the Thistle Farm map again today and we're going to be going back to that field that we were in yesterday. We of course mowed it yesterday and now it's time to do a little bit more to it. Now it's obviously been drying between yesterday and today um, but I'm going to tether it and then we're going to row it up and bale it. Now we're not going to let it dry out anymore once it's been tethered so it's going to be partially dried uh, so it'll be more I don't know the technical word for it, it'd be between silage, maybe haylage kind of thing. It won't be hay as such, um, although the game will think it's hay. So we'll take this over there now, and this is the time when it'd be very handy to have another tractor. I have got a little Sammy tractor, which I could use on the Follow Me mod or something, uh, but it would be handy to have another tractor, so it would be good to have the JCB. It's just finding those funds. We just do not have the money. And it's quite expensive, that JCB. I think it's a hundred and something thousand. So it's quite a lot. But it is a big tractor. I guess we could replace the case tractor with it. Just depends how everyone else feels about that. Right, so this isn't the smallest header, as I said yesterday. But it's not the biggest but it is quite some, quite big for this field, this is a small field uh, but some of the other ones which we're going to do are pretty large so we will get it unfolded and we'll get it done but yeah like I say we're not going to let it dry out anymore we're just going to get it bailed up and this should make fairly short work of it it being so wide I would like to stay in cab view but the issue with this is it's not exactly easy with something so wide. I guess I could just keep turning around, but then I keep coming off course. I don't know. If I was doing some carting or something, then I'd definitely be in cab view, but I think for this, I'm going to have to stay out of here. It's not going to take long anyway. going to be more difficult going into the entrance there though, with it being so wide. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do there, that bit's going to be left. It would be handy to have the smaller one too for the smaller fields, and then use this one for the bigger fields. I guess I could kind of judge where I am. If I can work out how far from the side to be. I don't know if it's one row's width. Oh yeah, about one row. And I could be in here. Just guess how far in it is. That's okay. Final one, really not taking too long to do this. Really quick. Really don't know what I'm going to do there though, in the entrance. Right, I just did it. I had to do it unrealistically though by driving through the fence. So we didn't record it, we'll take this back now anyway and we'll go and pick up the windrower. And I do need the baler as well, I think I put the, the baler on follow me mod. That should be pretty good. And that'll make really quick work of it. And that means we'll be able to move on to something new today as well. Once we've got everything stacked away. I think I bought an auto stacker, I can't remember exactly, I'll have to check. If not I'll have to use the tally handler. Either way no problem at all. I don't think we're going to get that many bales out of it. So this one can go back where it came from I think. 
don't want to block the windrower in or the rake, whatever you call it it's got a few names hasn't it and this can go on this tractor again and the semi tractor can have the coon baler so I'll just get everything positioned so that it can follow me we'll go around here I need to find a parking space as well for that lorry because it's a bit in the way sticking out there, it's in my turning circle so we'll have to get that sorted out um, but yeah it's just parked in there next to the mowers where we were yesterday so that should be fairly easy to get out okay so that is following the leader and hopefully that will work ok, uh, let's go up here yep, good just realised I've got the mirrors on that makes it annoying there we go it does make such a difference when you've got working mirrors is it still following? Yep, just there. It's already crashed into the back of me once. Um, I think it's following the tractor though, not the attachment on the back. Again, this is quite a big windrower, not the smallest, also not the biggest though. Uh, so it's going to make very short work of it. I do want both of the windrowers, or two of them at least, um, the smallest one as well, so I can do the smaller fields with it would be good uh, so I'll get this thing set up and then we'll get the semi tractor to follow us I think I'm just going to lay down a quick windrow just so it's got something to follow and I will need to turn that on as well that should work Hopefully, just to keep an eye on it, I think. Yeah, it seems to be working. But this slope here is it, pretty steep, to be honest, but um, it does put this tractor through its paces, definitely. It definitely shows up what horsepower it is. I think it's about 130, this tractor. 6630. I'm not sure exactly because I know you can do things to them to make them more powerful and stuff like chipping them. Um, but I think standard from, from factory, I think they are about 130. So far, so good anyway. We've got one bale out of it. It's not going to give us much. But we can do another field at some point. that's three bales and we're almost done it is a very small field it was a good starting off one though and there we go that's all done I'm assuming that is going to miss some bits, so I'll have to finish that up afterwards and I've folded this up. Don't crash into me. Um, just to neaten everything up. And there we go, all complete. We're we'll now fold this up and take it all back. Um, so, three bows. Could have been better. We have almost got four. There is one almost complete in there. So, yeah, just unfortunate. But we will get that next time we use the baler and I'm only going to be doing grass work with this baler so it won't be store, store or anything uh, so that would be all fine now I'll take it back differently this time I'll drive the Sammy and the John Deere can follow me hopefully it will be able to do all the manoeuvres because obviously it's a longer thing on the back 
yeah, it's fine. And also, this uh, barrier here can be a bit of trouble. Yeah, it's fine. Good. So we'll take this back, and then I think we'll get the combine going in a field because we will have to get some money in from that too. Um, my information panel doesn't work in this map. I'm not sure what's going on there. Can't seem to open it up. But at least I can open the map up still. That's good. Uh, so I think we'll go for a fairly square or rectangular field to begin with when we're doing some harvesting because I'm going to be doing baling, obviously. And if you have a funny shaped field, it can make a bit of a mess. So it would be good to use a fairly easy shape. So I'll put this away and we'll put the trailer on one of the tractors. I'm not sure which one. No, that's going to follow me in, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, don't want that in here. You can go back where you came from. And we're going to have to put the trailer on the case, I think, actually, because it is a very big trailer. And. I don't think this tractor is powerful enough to be honest. Now it's actually just hit me that we're going to be doing baling as well. Now that baler takes a fair bit of power. It takes quite a bit of juice through these tractors. So second thoughts, we're going to have to use the Marshall trailer with this tractor and the case will have to do the baling because otherwise we're not going to work at all. I'll just put this over here out of the way somewhere. Obviously this is the silage heaps, but we're not using them yet, so these can go in there. There's two of them anyway. And when we need to do some front loader work, our attachments are there. Okay, so first things first, we'll just go and get those bales, and then we'll get the combine going, and the baler as well. Now obviously, there's three bales, I can get two on the spike at once, so that's going to be annoying, we're going to have to do two runs. But that should be fine there for now. Okay. Okay, so, which is our spike? That one there. Yep. Uh, so yeah, we're we'll just going to pick them up really quickly. We'll put them somewhere out of the way. And then we will move on. I've had quite a lot of comments saying use the wrapped bail grab rather than the spike. And I am going to. Um, but as there are so few here, I didn't think it would be worth buying it just for that. Um, I think the spike is best for the square bells, isn't it? I'm not sure. It is actually easier for me in cab view doing these bales. Right, so we'll just head back with these, and then there should be one more just over there. I'm just trying to work out where to put these. There are some moo-moos in the road. Um, ah, good. Uh, so I don't know. Somewhere out of the way, obviously. Um, don't know. Getting some serious lag here. Weird. If I look right, it doesn't do it. It wasn't doing it when I first started the map. I don't know if it's because I've got so much machinery. I have no idea. Um, now I guess these should go sort of near at least to the animals but I can't really see a great place to put them except for where this was parked we could go here I'm going to put them here for now right okay so I've dropped that one off if I can get that one to sit at a better angle out there yeah that's good and then put this one in next to it then they should tuck right up against the side and there shouldn't be any problem at all Yeah, 
yeah, that's, uh, that's vaguely what I wanted. Not great, but it'll do. So, yep, yeah, next one. Can't wait to do square ones now, because I haven't really done them. At least it's been a very long time since I have. So that should be really fun. I guess that should have gone on the middle spike, actually. There's only one. Oh, well. We'll take this back. We'll just pop this one on the end. And they're there for whenever we need them. We're going to need them fairly soon, but I need some other supplies too. Such as the straw bales. And hopefully some silage. So, there we go. I don't think we need this again now. So we'll just put this somewhere over here. And we can get this tractor. And... Yeah, the case tractor. Where's that gone? This tractor on the baler. It should be more than enough horsepower for it. Because I think it does take quite a bit of power. The big flywheel and everything they've got inside them. Quite hard to turn over. Uh, but that should be good. And we're going to have a big follow me. Everyone follow me. I think I'll drive the combine because I know that can be pretty tough with the header trailer. The turning circle on that thing's a bit funny when it comes to driving with the header trailer. If you turn too tight, you crash into it. So that can lead, and then uh, the, tra the trailer there can then follow. So we'll get into this, make a bit of a track. To about there. And then, oh, it's still moving. We'll get this one. Second, I think, and then that one can go last because it's shortest. That can go there. I don't know how many you can have in a row. It might not work. Never done three before. And that one can go there. Good. They all seem to have followed the ones that I wanted them to. Whether or not they will, I have no idea. But we'll give this a go. Probably best if I stay out of cab view, to be honest. Just for this bit here. They're all following. Um, now, the field I want to go to, I, I was thinking 11. But I don't know for sure. It's a pretty big field, but it's also very square. But what crop is it? I have no idea, because my, my interactive panel thing won't work. My PDA. I don't know what's growing in it. I don't know what is going on. I, I think actually looking at this, it looks like saucy rape. Just from the colouring. I could run over there, I guess. Um, it's just over here. Yep. It's also great. So we'll go straight ahead into this one. Probably not a bad one to do anyway. Um, and we'll get it going. Obviously not going to do too much today now. But if we can do something, that would be good. Well, that's as much as I can turn ready with this. Because otherwise it hits the trailer. Which is a bit annoying. Put it out of the way so no one can hit it. Meaning me. Uh, we'll put that there. Oh, that attaches the header to the trailer. Handy. Um, and yeah, I think sometimes the header can get stuck when trying to take it off. So I've got to be a bit careful doing this. Right, so it actually came off okay. Which is nice because otherwise it pulls the header trailer away which can be a bit annoying right I think I need to turn the follow me off I'll get that off because otherwise it's going to get in the way um, we need to turn the swath on which it is good um, and ideally that tractor needs to move but actually it doesn't matter too much because I need to be on the right side to unload the combine so I think I'll just start it off here Whichever way it goes is fine. So we will unfold the machine and then we'll bring up the follow me mod. That should enable, yep, good. Uh, we'll have it going up and down if it will work, hopefully it will. That's switched on, that goes. 
Okay. But it's going to go round, so I'll have to put it on the circle. It should sort itself out. But yeah, if it can just go around sort of once, just get a headland off, that'd be very handy. The case has decided to mess up, so that can finish doing that, and it can follow that, if it will. That's working. Again, if there is some severely missed bits like just there at the end, I'll, I'll clear all that up. It can look very messy. Uh, but that should all work out. Fingers crossed, I don't know if it will. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll follow behind with this and it will need emptying fairly soon. And the cell points I did show in part one, there's two. Obviously there's one a lot closer than the other one. One at each side of the map. So once that gets round to there, we'll call it a day and we'll continue tomorrow and try and get the rest of it all done, bailed up and probably get it all auto stacked. I think I have, I've got one auto stacker and I think it's the square baler one, the square bale one. So um, yeah, it's a good job I didn't buy one for the round one with the amount we're going to get. If I can just get to the top of here, just so we can see everything, wow it is a big field, that is big. Okay, well, this is definitely going to be a couple of days job, I think, even with this machine. And there it goes, the first bale, thrown out the back. Okay, wanting to empty now. We've had two bales out. It's getting quite a few. Obviously a good yield. Now, this is almost full. I actually need to set up the following speed. I think they're normally about six, I'm not sure. Six is good. Maybe a bit too quick. We'll drop it down again. Yeah, that's good speed. Um, it doesn't want to be too far away. It seems to. If I try and correct it by going under the spout more, it seems to stop, which is a bit weird. It's doing all kinds of speeds. Right, well that is the trailer 72% full. I don't think it would be worth waiting for it to fill up again because obviously it's not going to get too much more in there. The best trailer to use would be that big red one which we've got in the shed but obviously we don't have a tractor except for that case which can pull it. So we are really going to be looking towards getting another tractor. We'll just go and sell this and then we'll go back to the combine. It's getting a lot a lot of grain combine so it's going to be quite tough to keep up with this machine um, uh, do I have to reverse in here? maybe not nope almost did but we are now increasing money and when this field is done we should definitely have enough to get the JCV And back to the field for the next load. I can't miss the gate, where is it? Oh, it's over here. Um, I think the best way to go is probably up this side. Then we should sort of meet up with it halfway. I'm not sure exactly where it is. So it's right up in the far corner. I've just had a really good idea though. I could get the grain trailer for the lorry. Because that would obviously have a much bigger capacity. So. I have stumbled across an issue as well with the baler. It's catching up with the combine obviously because it's quicker. Uh, but when the combine turns around at the end of each circle, it gets in the way. So we're going to have to put the combine on up and down I think, rather than going around in a circle. Allow me to demonstrate. 
the combine turns round, this tractor stops, the combine reverses back, the case drives forward and blocks the route. So that is something which needs to be sorted out. But we will do that tomorrow because this is the last straight before we get to the end. So we'll leave that going. We'll get back in our John Deere. And it'll be soon time to empty that combine again. Got a little bit out of it before. I thought it was full initially, but then found out that it was just stopped because of the case being in the way. Hopefully, we'll get most of this in this trailer, I don't know. I'll just go ahead and uh, we'll unload it to 100% just further up. The rest can be done tomorrow. So that's 100% full. I'll just wait at the end and stop the combine. Because I want to change which way it drives around in a minute. And then we'll go and sell this. And then we'll continue tomorrow. Just stop the combine until tomorrow, and this can go on empty. I wish I could see what prices we're getting. I don't know if I'm the only one with this glitch where you can't open up the information panel on this map, or if it's something which is just on the map. I don't know. I'm also getting lag, which I didn't get in part one really. I got a bit. If someone could let me know if it's just me, then I might be able to sort it out. That would be good. If anyone else is experiencing these problems, please do let me know. But we're just going to this in here. See what we can get for it, of course. Hopefully, a fair bit. The more we sell, the less we'll get though. Well there we go, £65,355. So there we go, thanks for watching as usual everyone. You can join me again this time tomorrow for another part on the Thistle Farm map. And we'll be finishing off that field hopefully. Very big, but I'm going to have to sort out a different trailer. Because obviously there is a lot there to harvest. So there we go, until tomorrow, thanks for watching and bye for now.